Hi, it's John Mark Hogue, the director for Hamlet, this year's Shakespeare on the Cot Show. Um, and we're here, this is just the second of our little video blogs we're doing uh, throughout the rehearsal process uh, to just kind of talk about Hamlet and acting Shakespeare and, and what, what our process is like. Right now we're in the second week of our blocking which is, if you're not a theater person, that's where you basically get told where you enter and where you exit and where you go stand when you say certain lines and things of that nature. Um, for me, it's a real fluid process. Um, I like to do it in sort of an organic fashion, which is I like the actors to be as involved as, as they can be in kind of choosing their own blocking, or at least initially getting an idea of what they think their character would be doing in the scene. I find that it helps the actors remember their blocking if they were part of the, part of the creation of it. Um, and I also think it just gives it a more natural feel. Um, sometimes we have to come in and, and, and do some guide with that. What we're really trying to do is just kind of get everybody familiar with moving on their feet in the scenes and out of the scenes. Uh, they're still holding their books in their hands at this stage. Uh, some of them are truly trying hard to get off book already, uh, but it's a big play, and so you know there's some challenges with that. Um, you know, one of the things about Hamlet is there are so many expectations that come with it, um, and you know there's a lot of people that that say you know we're crazy to do Hamlet in a community theater production at B Theater, but we have a really talented group of actors. Uh, and a good script, uh, good material, obviously, to work with. Um, and the thing that about Hamlet is it's almost like peeling an onion because every layer that you peel away, uh, there's just another one there uh, that, that takes everything deeper and deeper and deeper. So no matter how many times you've seen Hamlet or read Hamlet or seen it, when you see a, a new version of it, it, it shows you something different and, and brings you further into you know, into the characters and into the story and into the, just the depths of, of, the, of the language and of, of the tale itself. You know, I, I really believe it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the stories we know the best that we want to see again and again and again. And I think that's why people keep coming back to Hamlet. Yeah, so one of the things, um, th this is a pretty big size cast. I, are, in yeah, it's, it's about, it, about 14 or 15 yeah. is usually, uh, about the size we have for a Shakespeare cast, but yeah, for for the Black Box Theater, it's a large cast um, yeah. that we that we do it in. But we like that we like that intimate feel of being right up there with the audience. Yeah. Uh, so, can you give the the viewers a sneak peek of what the set's going to look like? Just maybe a couple yeah. descriptors. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> it hasn't been constructed yet. We're going to be doing that on Saturday. So we're, everyone is real excited because. All this and all the work that we've done with the blocking so far may all completely change once we get the set. But we're going to have a raked stage, uh, which uh, for those not in theater means it's one that's angled, so it'll come down, it'll slant down, and and go up to about 15 inches in the back. We'll have a platform above that in an L shape. Uh, we'll have some pillars, hopefully some some uh, fabric uh, tapestries, some stairs, and things of that nature. So it's going to be really cool. Um, and we're going to have a lot of good ideas. Mike Burnett, our tech director, came up with the concept of it. We've posted some pictures of that or video of it, of the concept of it, the concept drawing online. You can go to Facebook and, and check those out. Absolutely. Um, any other teasers you want to add? Something we're going to talk about in the future? Well, what I really want to do is, so in, the, in the next next vlog, I would really like to get a couple of the characters together, a couple of the actors we don't have all the actors here tonight because we're just blocking certain scenes. Uh, but when we get all the actors here, I'd really like to have some time where they can come in and tell you about their part of the process and, and how it's going with them. I mean, Hamlet is, is a really, really a lot to tackle. Um, our, our actor who's playing Hamlet, uh, Tyler Tennell, has to learn over 1,500 lines of dialogue by himself. Um, and it's just a, a tremendous, and they're all working very hard on it. And so. Um, I'd like you to hear from him, hear from uh, Ophelia, hear from uh, King Claudius, Queen Gertrude, and just to, to part of the experience. We have a lot of first-time Shakespearean actors in this show, and what we try to do with B Theater with our Shakespeare productions is really 
make them understandable and try to show people what Shakespeare can really be like if you if you approach it in the right way. And so I'd like you to hear from actors who have never done it before and some of whom had a phobia of being in a Shakespeare production but are in this one and seem to be loving it. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. So stay tuned. We've got more coming up, huh? That's right. <laughs> stay tuned. Come back. Same bat time, same bat channel.